Happy new vlog! It's so dreary outside. The weather just goes shoom, shoom, shoom this time of year. I am getting ready, what am I looking for? For my first YouTube, maybe last, first and last, live stream thing. I wasn't sure what to do, so I thought I would just do like a trying out new products, get ready with me kind of thing. And I'm just setting up, so got a fancy new tripod. It has a clip for the phone. I'm gonna have everything set up. It's gonna be very cash. And um, I have no makeup on just because it's a get ready with me. And we'll just see how it goes. If it works, maybe we'll do it more often. Like, I don't know if it works. Like, literally, technically works, and then if people actually enjoy it. So, wish me luck. Of course, by the time you see this, it will have already happened. My hair is freezing out because it's like a thousand percent humidity, but oh well. Alrighty then, I'll see you guys for real and hopefully a little bit. And isn't this weird? The vlog, whatever. I'm all, I'm all kerfuffled. Alright, I am at Groomers Seafood. It is retail and wholesale. And I'm here to pick out with Michael to pick out his birthday dinner. He wants crab legs. And I've heard this place is the best place in San Antonio to get seafood. So let's go check it out. Oh. It really smelled. No, I'm good. Interesting. Unfortunately, Shane can't eat. It's more for Michael's birthday celebration. I got my sweet potatoes baking in there. And uh, table's pretty much set. Just gotta toss the salad together. And we got ourselves a dinner. So I will link the um, method I used to cook the steaks. I've linked it before, but in case you missed it, I will put that there for you. And uh, we like it. It's easy. It's idiot proof, or at least it's Marnie proof, which is kind of synonymous. I've been known to mess up sticks. Alrighty, hear that sizzle? Nothing like waiting until the day before Michael's birthday to go buy him his birthday cards. But at least it's better than the day of, right? All right, so I'm buying my cards, picking out Shane's cards. Hopefully Jake is taking care of his own cards. And uh, might pick up a few other things because who goes to Target and just gets what they're intending to get? Nobody. That's like, that's like award winning if you can pull that off. All right, let's see what we get here. Michael's Operation birthday is well underway. I have made the first step of the cake. I have rolled up the cake. It's rolled up in there. Isn't that cool? So far it worked. I cheated. He wants an ice cream roll cake. I can't remember if I told you that or not. And I used this box mix and followed a Betty Crocker confetti cake roll recipe. And then this will cool for 10 minutes at room temperature, then an hour in the fridge. Then I unroll it, and since it cooled in this rolled up state, it will want to stay rolled. So then I will take softened ice cream, unroll it gently, spread the ice cream in there. Guess what? It's peanut butter, dairy free, Ben and Jerry's. And then roll it back up, and then I think I wrap it up in plastic and put it in the freezer until tomorrow. So I'm just so proud of myself that it actually worked. Shane's here, he is homie. He's not feeling, he has a migraine. I should, I should be specific when I say he's not feeling well. He has a migraine. I'm starting to get one myself. It's definitely the weather. All right, I've set the timer for 10 minutes to cool. Then we will move it to the fridge. We will keep an eye on Rowdy so he doesn't eat the cake. 
So proud of myself that this worked. Now I gotta start prepping dinner. Meatloaf tonight, yum. It's Wednesday, it is Michael's birthday, and it's really dark in here again. Hmm, hang on a second. I am, I baked Michael's cake yesterday. There it is, I started to unroll it yesterday, and it started to crack. Full disclosure, I think I'm gonna mess this up, but it is time to unroll it and put the Ben and Jerry's non-dairy peanut butter and cookies frozen dessert inside the cake, roll it back up, freeze it, so it's ready for tonight. The good news is if I royally screw this up, which it is entirely possible I will do, that is why God invented frosting. Covers all the cracks. If it cracks open, I can just kind of cement it all back together with the frosting. So. I need two hands for this. I'm not gonna film this. I have enough pressure without you guys watching, even though you're not really here. So I will come back when it is all done. No, I did. All right, my ladies have informed me. Where's the video, Marnie? So I finished it and, well, I finished the rolling. It's in there, it's all rolled up. Can you see a little bit? I got the ice cream in there. I've wrapped it in press and seal and uh, it will live there for four hours and then I'll take it out. I will frost it with chocolate frosting, roll it in sprinkles, cover it in 46 candles, which will probably then melt the ice cream and sing him happy birthday. It did break in four pieces, but frosting will fix all evils. So now I gotta clean up the mess. This is what's left. Oy, oy, oy. All right, cleaning up time. And this saved my shirt from getting covered in ice cream. So thank you, Claire. Thanks for my hotty toddy apron that I didn't iron after I washed it, so no judging. We are at Michael's birthday lunch, and it's one of our favorite places to eat in San Antonio. It's called the Avocado Cafe, and it's um, very healthy. They have a lot of gluten-free options. So I'm having an avocado salad on the half shell. And Michael, I don't know what he's having, but it's gluten-free bread. And it looks really good, and a green smoothie. Thank you, very much. Thank you. And a little extra poppy seed dressing. Yum, yum, yum. We're back from we're back from lunch, and we are just gonna be very indulgent and watch TV in the afternoon. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing, watching TV in the afternoon. And uh, anyway. We didn't watch Beverly Hills Housewives last night. So we're watching it tonight, and Michael never had his coffee this morning, so I am brewing him with coffee in his mug. It fixed my hair, my hair is a mess. Well, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so why bother fixing it? Alrighty, let's see what happened in the hills of Beverly last night. The cake is iced, it is done. Ta-da! Ta-da! It looks like a big chocolate log. There it is, you can see the ice cream on the side. And now I have to figure out how to get it back in the freezer. Hmm, probably should have thought of that before I, I guess I can tent the aluminum foil over that and clear out a shelf on the freezer. Gotta work fast, this sucker's gonna melt. All right, I'm prepping dinner. We are making our annual Michael feast, which is drunken king crab legs, courtesy of Emerald Lagasse. And it's the easiest recipe in the world, you need a giant stock pot with a steamer insert, and at the bottom of the pot, you cut up three lemons, three lemons in half, throw them in there. You put a head of garlic, separate it, throw it in there. And then you pour in three bottles of dark lager, dark ale, in this case, Shiner Black Lager. Pour it in, and then you um, bring it to a boil, throw your crab legs in, and um, steam them for like five minutes until they're heated through. That's it, easy peasy. I'm assuming it tastes good. I myself do not care for crab legs, so I've never actually eaten this meal. But everyone else in the family tells me it's great. It smells good. All right, here's what it looks like with one bottle of beer in there. Yum. We are sitting down at dinner. I just wanna show you what they look like in the pot. Here are what's left of the crab legs. Some are already over there. And then I just boiled up some potatoes and then melted some, and then drained them and then melted some vegan butter spread. And then the purple ones Shane can eat and then the other colors Michael and I can eat. So I'm gonna just put those in a serving bowl and that's it.
There it Craziness. is, the middle of the cake. It's not quite as pretty. <laughs> it's cool. On the man. inside, but it's still amazing that you did it homemade. That's what it looks like. Scratch. There you go. There's your fancy silverware. Love Shane Dean. I'll do that. No, honey, this is the big piece. You That's sure? for you. Okay. Yes. The next piece is for Shane Okay. Gluten free, dairy free ice cream roll. Here we go. So, Milk Makeup Package came. It's their cream eyeshadows. They're in squeezy tubes. I'll show you. I swatched them. Look how cool this is. I just got done doing Instagram live for like an hour and a half. I had the best time. The best time. Look at these tubes. They're like, they're little, literally squeezy tubes of, of liquid or cream eyeshadow. Here's, here, hang on. I will show you. Come in these little squeezy tubes. Like paint pigments. How cool, right? I haven't swatched all of them, but that's some of them. How pretty. I also filmed a drugstore haul. Like, look at this place. This place is a mess. Like, that's what's left over from filming the video. Then I, so I was on Instagram Live, so I, I used this tripod to hold the camera. Then y'all were helping me make bechamel sauce on Instagram Live, so I've got that going on in there. And now I have my notes. I mean, it just looks like a bomb has gone off in here. It's a mess. But now I'm making the lasagna. Now we are off to Rowdy's last class of Puppy Kindergarten 1, and we've already started him on Puppy Kindergarten 2 for next week in a different facility. So let's go graduate, Rowdy. Happy Friday, going out to lunch. And real quick, I'm gonna do a very quick F of the day. Um, hair done yesterday. Just woke up like this. Key sunglasses, bubble bar earrings. I think they're old. I don't know if they're still available. Bubble bar necklace. I will link that. Um, blank NYC leather, faux leather moto jacket because I don't know when, how much longer it's going to stay cold enough to wear it. My new BP sweater. Old Zara jeans. I don't know that there's anything still like this out on the market, but I will look. Um, old Aldo booties. And I am carrying my trusty gray zip tailor. So there you go. Off to get some Mexican food and see some lovely women for lunch. So I will see you all later. Go, Shady, go! Go, Shady! <laughs> Let's go! Hey. That's a character. Bit. This morning, I put my makeup on with you guys on Instagram Live. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. And it's usually just very spontaneous. No warning, I just go on and do it. Very often in the morning. But is the guy here? I'm waiting on the alarm guy. He's here to fix a sensor that's on the fritz. And uh, it's rainy. And we are supposed to go to Houston today to watch the Ole Miss Texas Tech baseball game, but that's not happening. So I am wearing my Ole Miss gear with my thumb hole. And it's a little chilly, so my barefoot cardigan on top. Just doing a little up for the day and my mini tassel earrings, mini pinatas. Rowdy ate one of my big ones. He didn't like actually ingest it, but he got it and he disconnected the top from the bottom, which makes me sad. Oh, the guy is here. All right, I'll see you later. When our alarm is working, fingers crossed. H-E-B is having an all you can eat crawfish contest, but I think we're gonna pass today. I would have been good. Michael's there not feeling up to par. And you have to suck the tails and the heads, so. Ready to walk? Here we go, in the rain. Ah! It is a very nasty wet day. We have the fire going. And Rowdy, come on, stop eating it. This is an heirloom. This was this was Bosley's. Stop eating it. Hey, now you got your face stuck in there. So he was a little cold and a little trepidatious about going out in the rain. So I tried putting Bosley's giant Christmas sweater on him. Winter sweater, I don't know. And uh, it's still too big. It's too big for you. Rao Rao. Hey, stop. Hey, can you not eat it? There you go, so handsome. Rowdy, sit. 
I just want to show you off. Rowdy, sit. Good sit, bingo. Let me wait, hang on, give you a treat. Okay, look it, doesn't he handsome? But it's too big. So we're gonna take it off, it's worth the shot though. He's, though we do have these little ones I got from Scotland actually. You know where we got this, Michael? Do you remember? We got them in Drumna Drocket. Do you remember that barn? Pet barn place? Michael's not feeling really well. Michael's going to stay off camera. He has a really killer headache. It's oak season. I warned you. I warned you. As soon as cedar season's over, over oak season kicks in and it lays him low. We are one episode into the Americans. Excellent recommendation from those of you who recommended it. I'm gonna go rescue our heirloom sweater from Walmart and maybe make you, how about some tea, babe? Okay then, I'll see you in a little while. Not the Saturday night we had planned, but that's okay. I like this just as much. Good morning, it's Sunday, and I'm getting ready for Sunday school. Well, that's not accurate. I'm getting ready to take Shane to Sunday school, and look who's king of the pillows. I don't know if this is, let me turn on the light. Hello, sir. You comfortable? <laughs> I just like how he just looks right at you those eyes. Your eyes are turning green. Ish. I don't think they're that bright blue. He looks kind of depressed. Are you depressed, Rowdy, or falling asleep? I don't know. How do you fold yourself up so tiny? I don't know that either. Anyway, I just put on my eye cream and I'm so happy because I have new eye cream. It came this week. Yay! But I'm going to go slap on the rest of my stuff and I'm going to try this blur stick thing, just like, whoops, sorry, here and here. I have, I've noticing pores, like what is going on? Oh well, fun changes in aging, Yee! We are checking out Snooze, which is back there. And it's the new breakfast place here in town. It's a chain out of Colorado. And uh, we have a 30 to 45 minute wait, which is like nothing. The people in front of us who had a table for an hour to an hour 15. So we're just wandering around the mostly empty shopping center. We're gonna check out Whole Foods, see if there's anything there to pick up for Shane, and uh, hang out in this beautiful, overcast, foggy, slightly damp weather. Watch my hair expand as the day goes on. Active size quesadilla, so I'm not gonna. That's coming home. Shane got the prettiest salad. Look at that. I should order that. That looks way healthier. Michael got a burger on. Say it. Gluten free bun. Yeah, he's so proud of that gluten free bun. Gluten free is going mainstream. Sure. How is. am I gonna even? I'm gonna eat like it. one of these. Goodness gracious. Take like that home for. Wow. Snackies.
party's over because the battery is dying. So thanks for hanging out. I'll put the songs down below. It's been a really fun little weekly vlog again. And I will see you next Sunday with another one. And don't forget, videos this week are Tuesdays and Fridays in between. And maybe some spontaneous stuff in the middle. And Instagram Live and all that good stuff. So make sure you're following me in all the places. And I'll see you in the next video or somewhere else on the internet. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.